Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and yes, it may be Monday, we may be talking about old Obama care, but one of the things that you're going to notice, just, just to keep your mind off a little bit, is on our site. You'll just have to take a look on mbnnewsvideoweb.com, or you can link from montybubbles.net. You're going to be seeing, are you ready for this, dog videos. Dog surfing videos. It is really kind of fun. Anyway, you'll have to see, because that's where we were yesterday. But meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kemba with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, they said that the, the Republicans are being blamed for what the Democrats are doing because they control the press. But as one of the Democratic senators said this morning, very specifically, he said, if you're from a red state, you are not going to lose your seat if you're a Republican for doing what the people in your community told you to do. If you're from a blue state, you're not a Republican to begin with. So if they get pissed off at you, they weren't going to vote for you anyway. But it doesn't make so any he said difference. that 86% of the people in this nation are blaming the Republicans. He said no, because the majority of the people in this nation are not Democrats. Mm -hmm. And Obama's threatening to take this country down if he does not get his way. Oh yeah, that's, but he's trying to say this morning that I did not say that they're anarchists trying to destroy the nation. I didn't say this, I didn't say that. Well the problem is he said that they got him on tape saying that uh, Republicans want to destroy the nation, they want to destroy the economy, and that they're not going to stop Obamacare. The problem comes is the Democrats now own the fact that the, that the Democratic Party is not going to give unions or the working class person the same breaks that Obama's friends are getting in business. What? Yeah, you know, they own it. So they, they made them vote on it today. They, they would not approve anything that would delay the individual mandate on people. Or the, uh, or, and so um, and, and it's a disaster, folks. And they, the, the mainstream press isn't going to say it, but that's what's going to happen. And the Republicans in dem danger of Democrats whining or winning the red states. Oh, that's, that's and that, I thought that was a good one. That they were talking know. yesterday that it's going to be a, a slaughter in 214 as Republicans are voted out of office everywhere. No, the ones that are going to be voted out of office are the 38 people plus uh, Speaker Baynard who is going to vote with Obama to fund, the, fund everything. They're the ones that are going to be gone. And the trick is they don't get anything out of it. Because Obama doesn't give anybody anything for throwing them under the wheels of his bus. Uh, no, he doesn't. He just throws them under the wheels of the bus. That's right. Yeah. And Russia to restore Soviet air and naval base in Arctic, Putin. Yeah, because they're rebuilding their entire military uh, and using American money to rebuild it with, which is funny. Wait, wait, wait. Why are they using American money? Because they're selling us their oil. We can basically outproduce anyone in the world, but Obama won't allow us, so we're now buying stuff from the Soviets also. Oh, in other words, for the good of the country. <laughs> but, but he, wants to, he wants to destroy the American industrial complex because he wants it to be built on a socialist standard. I know, so instead we're going to give the money to all these other countries. Yeah. And we're not going to produce it ourselves. Uh -huh. And Obama administration to sue the U.S. state on voting rules. Yeah, such, such rules as you have to present identification when you vote to prove that you're voting. You also have to have, a, uh, you can't register on the day of the voting and they're only going to let you have a month now to pre-vote instead of, it used to be you had to vote the same you know, day unless it was, uh, you know, you basically got one of these absentee ballots. Now you can vote for as much as six months in advance for the election. What? Yeah. Yes, as, soon, as soon as the candidates have been firmed up, you can start voting in a lot of states controlled by Democrats, which is how they win election because they ring up. They said the President of the United States would not have won the election on the vote he got. He won it on the pre-vote, totally, because all these people that thought, well, we're going, he's going to change. Well, he didn't change, folks. Mm. And if they hadn't have voted, they would have known that. But they're going to sue the U.S. state on voting rights? They're going to vote. They're going to basically go, even though this, uh, the Voting Act has been, they said, the Supreme Court said they sent the Voting Rights Act back to Congress 
he's going to use the Justice Department to enforce his version of the Voting Rights Act now, mm -hmm. which basically will go back to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court will hand him his head once again. And NSA internal review shows press has lied about all that has been said about them. I know. I, I thought they, they said there's only 12 instances since, president, since Obama became president where the power was abused. And then, unfortunately, they said there's, a, there's the reporter's problem, there's the CNN problem, there's all the business problems, there's the country problems. Other than that, you know, there's only been 12 occurrences that they're, they, uh, you know, they could only, and they did an internal investigation of themselves and found out that the rules have all been obeyed. Oh, gosh. And ban on nighttime shopping divides France. Since France, since you basically expect the, you know, you go in Paris and it's open all night long, like, like, you know, like in Japan, basically you go to clubs all night long, you go to stores all night long, you go eat all night long. Well, that's the, the socialists are putting an end to that. They are? Yeah. Wait, it won't be France then. That's right. Well, the socialists are now on their way out in France. So. Mm -hmm. And U.S. spy revelations hurt Web Trust Facebook chief. Well, yeah, because they all know that if Facebook and all these people are telling you X amount of things have been done, it's tons more than that because they're lying to the American public also. Well, and they're not going to sit there and tell them all the things anyway, are yeah, they? No, because first of all, it's the same thing. Like, there's a new piece of software coming out called Armageddon that you're not going to find promoted on any American website because the federal government won't allow it to be done. You'll have to pick it up on the World Wide Web. Mm. And Carrie sees potential for a quick Iran nuclear deal. I, I, they, everybody, no one by, believes that, that this guy is basically going to sell out all of the world in order to make himself look good. And uh, they but all can, know. Can do something like that? Come on. Well, he basically, okay, the Iranians happen to be the Muslims that his father belonged to. And, and so it's all right if you support them and don't support the others. Mm -hmm. And shale oil poses threat to Gulf exports. Yeah, because shell oil, basically, there's more, there's more oil in shell in this country than there is oil in the ground. So it basically they said that we own, the, uh, we own the majority of shell oil in the entire world, and Obama won't let it be messed with. Why not? Because it will make us independent. And remember, he's a, okay, Obama is a closet Muslim. He wants us to be indebted to the Muslims mm -hmm. all the time. And Britain defends action against Guardian over Snowden leaks. Well, they don't have, okay, Cameron didn't have the authority to do it, and he's being handed his head at the moment over arresting, arresting uh, relatives of people that work at the Guardian, basically. is it, They have laws in Great Britain, folks, and it seems like sometimes they, like the United States government, don't tend to pay any attention to the laws that are on the books. But unlike the United States government, you can basically take the head of state and throw him behind bars, which has been done in oh. Great Britain. Yeah. And Italy faces markets as Letta bids to save the government. Yeah, because the government, because when they got rid of that, when they basically got the guy on underage prostitution, he didn't stop the fact that he actually controls one side of the government, and that side of the government will not make deals with the other side because they're in the majority. Oh. In Colorado, flood towns may come back less diverse. Because the minorities are all... It, what it did, it chased all the illegal aliens out of those communities. It did? They had to go to where... Okay, you, uh, you basically don't have identification, they don't have anything legal, therefore they can't qualify for anything on the books. And Obama is not going to be able to give them stuff off the books like he is in, a, in a state, other states. So. And liberal New York City Democrat to face fiscal conservative and mayoral race. Yeah, okay, this guy is to the left of Obama. Can you believe that? That's going to be the new mayor. What? Yep. Oh. Um, voters reject Portugal austerity policies in local elections. Because they, uh, what they do is, they're, they, in order to save the country, you create massive unemployment, which therefore leads to more government spending. Oh. Yep. And my favorite of all, Detroit Zoo to build the $21 million penguin exhibit. The, the city's broke and they're getting their spending <laughs> money. But don't worry, the President of the United States is pumping half a billion bucks at a time off of discretionary government programs in order to... He's basically bailing out the city of Detroit illegally, which he does on everything he does anyway. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, okay, yeah. There's always a price to be paid.